Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, Seven Star Rillaboom has just been announced. I'm gonna go on the Poke Portal and go on the news to show you the actual times of it. So as you can see right there, it will be a week on Friday. So the 28th of July running to the 30th of July. And then again, a week after that. Now, I didn't actually expect this when Rillaboom came out, but it's going to be a normal type terror. I thought it would be a ground type terror. So the only thing that's super effective against it would be fighting type. Now, Rillaboom has a lot of different options here. It has a lot of set move, and it also has a lot of damaging moves it can go with. But first, we're going to go over its ability. Now, it's going to have its hidden ability more than likely because that's been the rhythm so far. They all have their hidden ability. Now, Rillaboom's hidden ability is going to be a ground grassy surge and whenever it comes into the battlefield grassy terrain will come with it for five turns but grass type moves are going to power up for the first five turns it might even have grassy terrain as a move as well now rillaboom is going to be a physical attacker it's going to have 125 base attack and only 60 special attack but it could have boom burst now going over possible moves it's going to have a grass type move that being uh, wood hammer or drum beating drum beating is its signature move so i'm kind of leaning towards drum be in over wood hammer but they're both moves that could be a bit of trouble now it's probably going to have a fighting type move a probably hammer arm but there's a possibility it might have drain punch as well just to gain health throughout that raid and be really annoying now the third move will be a normal type move so that being uproar giga impact possibly and it might even have boom burst just because it's like a sound pokemon with drums and everything even though it's not a special attacker but I'm guessing it will have one of the physical options. Now, the fourth move is going to be either a ground type move, a flying type move, or a dart type move. So a stomping tantrum doesn't get affected by grassy terrain like Earthquake does. Acrobatics is also an option for the flying type move, and knockoff is also an option. So it could be something along those lines just to cover grounds. So let's say it's final move set. The four main damaging move could be drum beating, hammer arm, stomping tantrum, and uproar for example so setup moves in terms of raising its own stats could be something like bulk up which increases its attack and defense growth which is increases its attack and special attack and sword stance which increases its attack by two stages now one of these could be put in place here now to go with the growth it could use a sunny day as well so if you use sunny day first growth doubles in effectiveness but will up his attack and special attack by two stages after using sunny day and that could lean into a boom burst being a lot stronger it could have screech to lower our defense by two stages but it could also have Noble Raw, which lowers our attack and special attack. We've seen that happen before in the seven star raids with Inteleon, I think it was. And it's I don't think it will happen, but it could have Taunt to block our setup moves. But I highly doubt that's going to happen. But I'm just mentioning it just in case. Now, there were so many options to choose from. I had to narrow it down to five or, or else we'd be here all day. And I'm going to go over the five right now and all the builds that you can use. So the first Pokemon is going to be Galarian Zapdos. This is a fighting and flying type. It's going to be a very strong Pokemon. So let's say Woodhammer, Drumbeating, they will be not very effective because of our flying second typing. Hammer Arm, the fighting moves, not very effective because of the flying typing again. Stomping Tantrum, it doesn't affect us at all. We are immune to ground moves. Only problem is if it does have Acrobatics, that's the only weakness we will have here. And we're neutral against normal types. Now we're going to have the fighting type Terra. This will do the most damage because he's only weak to in time moves. We will hold the shell bell. Every time we do damage, we get 12.5% in health back to us. This will keep us alive, alive throughout the raid. Now, the nature we're going to be running is going to be the adamant nature up and attack down in special attack. This will maximize our attack. You're going to want max EVs in HP and attack for survivability and damage. You can substitute the hp evs for defense evs but i've just done hp because then i can continue to use it with ease in the future which will be the same with every single one of these pokemon you want to make sure you have max ivs in everything except special attack the ability we're going to be running is going to be defiant if he has any moves that lower our actual stats our physical attack will skyrocket up two stages every time that happens 
So it's a very nice ability for these raids. Now the moveset we're going to be running is going to be thunderous kick, talent light screen and bulk up. Light screen doesn't matter. We are only really interested in thunderous kick, talent and bulk up. Bulk up increases our attack and defense. He's a physical attacker. So that will give our defense a big boost and it will increase our attack at the same time. Talent is for if he has those set up moves early on and they're getting quite dangerous. Thunderous kick is going to be an incredible move. 90 power, 100 accuracy. Every time we hit with it, lowers his defense stat. That comes combined with the shell belt is going to do incredible damage and keep us alive throughout that raid moving on to our second pokemon and probably the best if not one of the best pokemon for this raid it's going to be koraiden now i've not used this guy in a while but we're going to be going with the fighting type terror we're going to be holding the metronome for this one which is a chain item every time we use it say we use it uh, on the first turn it's 100 percent damage if we use it again the same move twice in a row it'll go to 120 then 140 160 180 and 200 at the max and it will stay there until it gets interrupted so it is a very strong item now moving on to the actual evs you want to do the same evs so hp and attack you want max ivs and everything pretty much the ability is going to be oricalcum pulse and what this does is it turns the sunlight harsh as soon as we enter the battle and if he does have sunny day then this will actually be very good for us because it does nothing but power us up and when we're in sunlight as you can see on the ability this actually boosts our attack in harsh sunlight so we'll have a big power increase on top of the high attacks that we already have now the moves we're going to be running are going to be drain punch breaking swipe sword stance and collision course drain punch is going to keep us alive all raid every single time we use it it's going to get 50 percent of the damage we do back to us as health so i doubt we're dying in this raid that combined with the actual metronome that gets stronger every single time we use a move is just incredible our setup move the sword stance we're going to always be using that first this will set us off to doing a lot of damage we just need to use this once maybe twice and we can just spam drain punch now if it turns out that it's really high in attack and we do struggle a little bit we have break and swipe every time we attack with this move it lowers their attack stat by one stage and it's an actual attack so it goes towards our terrestrial eyes which is amazing collision course is just there for possible one hits does 100 power 100 accuracy and the power is actually boosted if it's a super effective hit which it's a fighting type so it is so that'll be a very nice move to do a lot of damage at a certain point with moving on to our next pokemon you probably saw this one coming it's going to be annihilate with its ghost added type into its fighting type it's immune to them normal types and fighting type moves so it's going to be a really strong option here now we're going to go with a fighting type terror and we're going to be using the metronome again to get that boosted attack because as you can see right there we are going to be using drain punch on the annihilate as well you want max ivs you want max evs on hp and attack i have it on special defense right now i need to actually change that that was for a previous raid but the ability we have right now is going to be a defiant and that's the one you want so like with the galarian zapdos every time we get a stat lowered by the opposing pokemon our attack will go up two stages and that's going to be incredible especially with this move set we have drain punch taunt screech and bulk up drain punch is going to be our main attacking move and our only attacking move it's going to do a lot of damage it's going to restore our health by a lot as well and just in case like earlier that it has them early setup moves that are going to be a bit of a pain screech to lower their defense before that shield goes up and do a lot of damage and if you combine this with other people using screech at the same time it's going to do a hell of a lot of damage very early on bulk up to increase our attack and defense that will help us survive even longer if it does have acrobatics this will help out a lot as well and it will boost our attack ready for the drain punches mixed with the metronome this pokemon is going to be very strong as well so you want to get your hands on one of these now the fourth pokemon is going to be the fighting and electric type pokemon iron hands you want the fighting type terror you want the metronome yet again we're not going to be using belly drum because that is too risky on seven star builds it's even risky on some six star builds so i've avoided using belly drum now the ability we're going to be using is going to be quark drive but this boosts our pokemon's most proficient stat on electric terrain which we are using it boosts our attack by 30 percent when we use electric terrain but it only lasts for five turns now you want the adamant nature on pretty much all these pokemon because most fighting types are adamant nature with the odd exception to some new builds and things like lucario and that kind of stuff but the adamant nature so up and attack down in special attack we're going to want max evs in hp and attack the moves we're going to be using are going to be Drain Punch, Electric Terrain, Sars Dance, and Iron Defense. Now, because he's a physical attack, Iron Defense is going to be a very strong here. It increases our defense by two stages, and then we're going to take next to no damage. 
Sars Dance increases our attack by two stages, very strong as help move. Electric Terrain will boost that attack by 30% because of our ability. And Drain Punch is there so we can do all that damage and get health back so we never die. Now, the fifth one is going to be Mew. Now, this is going to be a fun Pokemon. You're going to want Adamant Nature again. You want Max EVs in HP and attack. We have the ability synchronized. It's the only ability you can get. doesn't really matter the ability, so just ignore that. The moveset is going to be Drain Punch, Sword Stance, Iron Defense, and Amnesia. Now, this Pokemon can... You don't have to use Amnesia, but I'm going to use it just in case it does have Boom Burst, and then it covers all grounds. So that increases our special defense by two stages. Iron Defense increases our physical defense by two stages. That's going to cover us on all grounds damage-wise. Sword Stance will boost our physical attack and Drain Punch will do all the damage and get the actual health back for us. But on Mew, you need, do need to change the Terra type from Psychic to Fighting, and we're going to be using the Metronome. Now, those are the Pokemon that are going to do really well when you're doing solo in this Pokemon. Personally, I will probably use Koraiden. It's been a while, and it seems like one of the best options here. If not Koraiden, I will be using Zapdos, also a very strong option with all those immunities and uh, actual resistances to the Pokemon. But it could change depending on what it knows. Now, I know there are people out there that love a good support, so we've got free support Pokemon as well. We can't just be giving all the credit to the Pokemon that deal all the damage. They deserve a lot of credit. Now, for the first support, we have Avalug. Single-handedly, the highest defense stat on the entire game. Even though it's weak to fighting types, this Pokemon is just going to be able to tank so many shots. It's got 184 base defense, so it's a Pokemon you want to pick up if you plan on supporting. It's going to be an Ice type. The Terra don't really matter, but we're just gone with the Ice type Terra. We're not going to be dealing that much damage. It's a support role. Now, the item we're going to be holding is going to be the leftovers. What this does is it we get health back at the end of every turn, 6.25% of our maximum health back, I believe. Now, our EVs are going to go into HP and defense, as you can see, over 500 base defense now as you can see over 500 defense is absolutely incredible ability it doesn't really matter too much in this situation so just leave it as what you get the moves we're gonna have are ice spinner chilling water snowscape and iron defense this pokemon is just gonna erase all things that it tries to do to us so ice spinner you don't want max e ivs in everything by the way you don't really need it in special attack and attack you can get an attack if you want because we do have an attacking move now ice spinner is gonna be a counter to the actual grassy terrain so when they grassy terrain turn one we use ice spinner it actually gets rid of the actual terrain and that will make it so they no longer have a grassy boost on all their grass type moves chilling water is going to counter all the setup moves that it may use or it just decreases the damage output of the rillaboom so your team can survive for longer set up for longer and all that good stuff this attack is quite a weak attack but it lowers the attack every single time you use it snowscape is going to be there it increases our defense by 50 percent for five turns and the defense of all ice type pokemon but that's not what we're after here because we already have high enough defense what this is going to do is if they use sunny day we can use snowscape and get rid of of that sunny day because if they do have sunny day and growth for example we don't want them using that too much so we've got a counter for the grassy terrain a counter for the weather a counter for the setup attacking moves and just in case we take a little bit too much damage from a crit or something like that we do have iron defense to increase our defense by two stages this pokemon is going to be incredible for these raids now because avalog is very weak to them fighting type moves we have a toxapex as well which is not weak to them fighting type moves he is weak to ground type moves that's going to be his only weakness here because the poison cancels out the weakness for the grass doesn't really matter what terror you're going to use because we're just going to stay unterrestrialized so we get as many resistances as possible the held item we're going to use is going to be leftovers again the evs we're going to be running are going to be hp and defense as you can see we have very high defense not have a look high but it's going to be very high still 443 amazing ability it doesn't matter too much none of them will be super helpful here you want to make sure you have max ivs you want to make sure you have the natures the open defense and down in which ever attacking stat you're not going to be using so with Avalog, it was down in special attack 
and with Oxapex, it's going to be down in physical attack. So the moves we're going to be using are going to be Acid Spray, Chilling Water, Iron Defense, and Recover. Now, just in case you have Pokemon on your team that are special attackers, so let's say you have an Arceus on your team or a special attacking Mew, a special attacking Lucario or something like that, this, Pokemon, this move will come in handy quite a lot. We have Chilling Water to reduce that physical attack, Iron Defense so we can survive for that much longer and recover just in case we get in a little bit of trouble. So this Pokemon is going to be very strong as well now the third pokemon i didn't think i'd be using this as a support because it's such a strong pokemon but it's going to be zamazenta now if you do have this pokemon great it'd be worth a shot using we're going to be holding the item rusted shield this turns it into its hero form and increases its physical defense by 25 and it increases all of its stats so it has base stat total of 720 which is equal to the zacian when it uses his crowned sword and arceus as well it has incredible stats we're going to be using the fighting type terror when the item activates as soon as we go into the actual raid this pokemon will turn into a fighting slash steel type as you can see there our defense is incredible we have 361 defense we also have quite high attack considering nothing's gone into it our EVs are going into HP and defense, max IVs. You want the nature that's up in defense, down in special attack. Our ability, Dauntless Shield, whenever we enter the battle, this was the main reason I chose the Zamazenta. As soon as we enter the battle, our defense goes up instantly before anything happens. And that's going to be really good in this raid because he's a physical attacker. Now our moves are going to be body press. So what this does is the higher our defense, the greater the damage this move deals. And it's super effective. And as you can probably tell, Zamazenta has very high defense. So that's going to do quite a bit of damage if you need to. I'm not saying just spam body press, but if you need to, it's there. In defense, will increase our defense even more in case we need it. Because we are weak to ground type moves and fighting type moves being a steel type. Now we're going to be using reflect as well to increase our physical defense of the entire team for five turns after we use this this is going to help our team out a lot and for our last move it's going to be another move for the entire team it's going to be howl this increases the attack of everyone on your team so when you're supporting you can use reflect increase that defense then you can use howl over and over again to increase the attack of everyone on your team consistently and your full team is going to do so much more damage it's going to be incredible now i can't wait for this raid they have waited a week so i wonder if they're going to do something with the actual mewtwo or not one can only hope if you have enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe turn that notification bell on so you don't miss another video plenty more where that came from if you want to join the discord make sure to do that link in the description a lot of fun over there and i can help you out even more over there would love to see you all over there smash the like button if you enjoyed it and i'll catch you on the next one